first full day of the house and the renovation project and y'all we thought i don't know what we thought we thought we could do things that we just cannot so we tried to take off the popcorn ceilings yesterday and it's clear that there are really multiple layers of paint on the popcorn ceilings so the water really can't penetrate the popcorn ceilings which makes it near impossible to get off and then I tried taking off the baseboards yesterday and let me give you guys a look. They look nasty. They are so hard to get up. Any little piece just powders and goes So I don't know what to do. I reached out um, just on a Facebook locals group and got some recommendations. I've been talking to someone on Facebook Marketplace. We're just hiring professionals. We're bringing in the real people who actually know what they're doing. how many cars we had in front of our house y'all that's ridiculous good morning house looks like a mess um yesterday my mom is a saint she cleaned the kitchen um she spent all day and it's still not fully clean like we deep cleaned the dishwasher the washer she did the oven underneath you know there's glass and she pulled out where like the cookie sheets and everything goes so um, this is still a work in project and I'll show you guys the rest of the house, which looked like a little bomb went off. So we ripped up all the baseboards throughout the entire home other than the kitchen and the bathrooms. So these would be replaced. And of course there's football on the TV early in the morning. And here are the floor tiles we have hardwood parquet floor that we are going to remove today and then that black kind of textured material is the glue so hopefully once this is all done the floors will be up and the glue will be successfully scraped off we had an electrician come out we had spectrum come out which is our internet and phone provider and they actually rewired this whole house um, and the electrician came out fixed a couple sockets and actually we gave up. James was doing a great job with trying to install new fans for the bathrooms and it was just a really difficult project. Listen, we'll try things and then we know when to give up and then get someone else to try them. This is what it looks like and when it turns on it's a great LED light and it connects to our phone and plays music, hello. So when my parents come back my dad's gonna patch up these holes make them look nice and new. My dad also took off the curtain rods with almost this tool-like material. So that was in all the bedrooms in the kitchen. And then over here, there was a shelf. Um, so he got rid of that. And it was just one shelf with really long support. So maybe in the future, we'll have two floating shelves for storage. We'll need to pick up all the glue or just scrape it off. This is a lot of work. We were quoted three to four thousand dollars from a company. Um, so we're very, very lucky that we have been able to cut a lot of costs. And we actually are stacking up all of our, well, really just the full pieces of the parquet because these are original hardwood from the 1950s. Our neighbor came over and said, listen, y'all can sell this for a pretty good amount of money. So I'm glad that he stopped by. Full doors did not have knobs, so I bought some from Home Goods. I took a piece of painter's tape and marked where the nail holes should be, and it worked out perfectly. And I think it modernizes the space. We spackled all the walls, and we are starting to paint. And all the floors are ripped up. 
this is my bagel, sorry, I'm getting hungry. Um, and we're going to paint this room in unusual gray. We already got the paint from Sherwin-Williams. The floors in all the bedrooms in the corridor are ripped up. And now it's just the glue. Just finished painting the kitchen. It's shoji white from Sherwin Williams. We really like the color. It complements the cream very well, but still lightens up the area. I think we've had two or three coats, and it still needs more. Um, and while my mother-in-law had the perfect paint tape job, the previous owners did not. So we still had to go in on like the ceiling and things to cover it up. But mostly done. We got rid of that green color and we painted it unusual gray, which actually ironically has some green in it, but I think it will complement our furniture. We have a very light furniture, either white or cream, so we think a dark color will be homey, but not be, you know, too dark. We painted the living room and bedrooms in mountain air, which is a light gray blue color, and depending on the time of day, it looks different, so we love this color and the kitchen and all bedrooms are done. Our luxury vinyl planks are finally being put in today. It's long overdue. Here they are scraping up the remaining glue, just little pieces that we miss, and they're just gonna clean it up with the shop vac. exhausted and defeated. We have been to three different Lowe's to get um, this PVC molding right here um, so you can get that put up and of course the product we liked and that was the right size is no longer being sold on Lowe's.com so we couldn't order it. So we've been to three Lowe's to get it. Spent a really long time picking up one by one going through all of them and we got, we got home and we realized at the store we got the most um it was the the wrong <laughs> the wrong kind not only is it the wrong height but it looks completely different so tomorrow lord bless him james on his birthday We'll drive out and change out these baseboards. <laughs> Good morning. It is the day before moving. It's been two and a half weeks. I never thought we'd get here, but goodness gracious, I'm so glad we put everything into the house that we did because I feel like it looks like a completely different space. The kitchen's a wreck, so please don't look at that, but we changed the color to shoji white and I feel like it just looks so much better. It makes the kitchen look bigger and more open and I'm very happy with the result. The living room is nearly done. I just have to put the covers for all the outlets back on. As you can see, we got new floors, we repainted, and yesterday we got new baseboards so they just look nice and crisp. I have to go over the holes with some caulk because they didn't do that, um, but that is really not a big deal at all. This room used to be an awful orange 
orange tone, red tone color, which I did not like at all. It just felt dark and gloomy and not very clean. Um, so we have this nice, crisp, clean color. It's Mountain Air is kind of a mix between gray and blue. We have the new floors and new baseboards, and I just, I love the way it looks. I feel like it just looks like a fresh new space. This is the office with a nice L-shaped desk that we have yet to assemble. And that will go in here, and I think it will be a nice, it's kind of like a drift woody color. Here is the finished master. Of course, I still have to put all the covers on, the electric outlets and things like that, but I'm so excited. This is where our bed is going to go. And gosh, y'all, I'm just so excited to sleep on my own mattress. Here is the master bathroom. We painted it in a gray that James chose. I really like it. I think it's a good, good tone. And there is the light fixture that we changed out. I like it. It's a little farmhousey, but still a little bit modern. And there we will we will put back in the shelf, which should be easy because we never covered up the holes. James and I are also very happy. We had CPI come out and install all their equipment, and we really love CPI. We use them in our last house, so we got hooked up with basically like their version of the ring that we can see anytime a keyless door pad so we don't have to worry about a key. And this is what it looks like. It's currently unlocked and they can match any hardware. Yeah, you can hear it talking. So you click this and it locks and then to unlock it, you put in your pin. It's movement day! We are so excited to finally get our things in and we're finally gonna take a break on working on the house. And like any good project, the more you start uncovering things, the more you find things that you actually need to do that you didn't think about that you had to do. So we're gonna do more work on the house later on. But I think for now, James and I decided to take a healthy little break and just relax just in time for the holiday season.